Hey everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fanger, here to start my Salem Let's Plays. Yes, I, as you can see down there, it says I haven't finished Shimosa, but it's day one of Salem coming out when I'm recording this, so it'll be way later for you guys. But I just really want to know what's going to happen in Salem, so we're just going to kind of do it. It's fine, because by the time you see this, all my Shimosa Let's Plays will be done. But for me personally, I'm like, you know, these stories don't really connect, so I just kind of want to jump into Salem because I'm very curious, but I will finish Shimosa, so let's just jump into Salem. And before we jump into Salem, I would like to say, if you would like to donate to my Patreon and my coffee, links are in the description. Okay, without further ado now, we go. Alright, <laughs> I'm just like, well, I'm excited. Oh, hey, it's you. I haven't seen you in a story part in forever. Hmm, not bad at all. In fact, I dare say it came out rather well. What are you talking about? Good morning, Sanson. Having a late breakfast? Oh, what a wonderful smell. Is that a crepe? I've never had a crepe in my life, by the way. Morning, Mash. No, this is a buckwheat gallet. G gallet? What, what, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I heard we produced, uh, procured some lovely ham and found myself hooked up, uh, hooked after spending some time with that sh with the chef. Talking about Emia? <laughs> so you're using ham, cheese, a soft-boiled egg, and is- and is that zucchini? It looks delicious! Uh, I don't know about that, Mashu, but alright. Thank you. I often had galets just like, uh... Just like, uh, like this when I was growing up in Paris. They were originally a pleasant, uh, pleasant dish from the Brit- Brit- Britain region. Blah, blah, blah. It's even said that they were served at the palace of King Louis' mother, Annie of Austria. Okay. Ideally, I would have liked to pair it with hard cider, but... Oh, right, exactly. You couldn't do that because we've run out, right? Apparently someone broke into the kitchen and stole most of our alcohol. Okay, let's see. Going down the list, who could that be? <laughs> There's a lot of people it could be, actually. Really? Was it a thief? I think so, since a number of rooms have also experienced inexplicable blackouts around the same time. That's weird. That, that's a little concerning, actually. <laughs> that's why I'm on the case right now! <laughs> okay, Mash. Get Holmes to help you. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought she had said she, he was coming to help her. Um, Holmes has been preoccupied with something in the hangar lately, so it's up to me to be the detective this time. <laughs> Cute. I see. In that case, I will gladly offer my assistance. Ever since the search for the Seven Holy Grails came to an end, what has brought me the greatest joy is the drastic improvements made to Caldia's pantry. <laughs> Funny. It's thanks to them that servants like us can enjoy seasonal delicacies and flavors from around the world. I'm so grateful to be able to experience so many wonderful tastes, but a shame to learn that there is a thief among us here in Caldia. I mean, with how many people are servants in Caldia, and I'm not surprised. Me too. Since Caldia is still responsible for preserving humanity, managing our food stockpiles is important. Well said. Hmm? Hello? Oh, hey, Robin. Um, ugh, my head. I feel sick. Did you take the alcohol? Good morning, Robin. You seem a bit under the weather. Oh, morning, Mash. Don't mind me. Er, I can smell the alcohol from here. Um, Robin. He's clearly hungover. He must have drunk an, immer an immense amount of uh, amount to be this affected, despite being a servant. Yeah, like they're not really supposed to get drunk, but damn. Fortunately, this works out well. Here, Robin, drink up. This is onion soup. It'll get you hydrated and replenish some of the salt you lost. 
Do servants go to the bathroom? <laughs> if that doesn't cure your hangover, uh, drink a glass of water with some baking soda to reduce the acidity in your stomach. Acidity? Yeah, that's hard to say. Acidity? <laughs> no thanks. I'm not drinking that. Uh, I've smelled... I've smelled rotting ales that weren't so rank. There aren't even any mes medicinal herbs in it. I mean, it's not like you were a witch or an alchemist or... <laughs> my head. <laughs> Dude, just go lay down. Sleep it off. I knew it! You're still in bad shape. What help could you be if there was an emergency right now? Won't you please consider taking Sanson's advice and having the soup? Also, um, I would appreciate it if you could tell me what happened last night. And please, don't skimp on the details. Last night? Okay, if that's what you want. I could care less about what Dr. Frenchie, asks, Frenchie says, but I can't say no to you. Still, there's not much that to tell. I just, uh... I just kind of ended up getting roped into a little drinking party the authors were having. Oh, okay. Does that include... Okay. Sometimes it's nice just to cut loose and drink like there's no tomorrow. Consequences be damned, you know? Anyway, the last thing I remember is Amadeus crashing the party and drinking the rest of the booze. After that, it's all a blank. Ah, uh, Amadeus. I swear, that man is a bottomless pit where, an, uh, when, uh, where alcohol is concerned. He always shows up unannounced at parties, drains the wine cellar as if it were his own, and doesn't even pay a single ecu to boot? Sure, that's a word. Robin, were you perhaps sent to raid the kitchen last night as an errand boy of sorts? Hmm, now that you mention it, I think something like that might have happened. I see. I'm glad I'm making progress. I knew I could resolve a case like this without asking Holmes for help. Oh, Mashie, you're so cute. <laughs> At any rate, it seems clear that you were all getting plastered on Kalia's res uh, reserves. Yeah, can y'all like, can we lock the, the booze away, please? <laughs> Indeed, what a sorry sight. Who else was involved? Amadeus, um, who else exactly? Yeah, yeah, not all of us were brought up with the luxury of using proper knives and forks for our dainty little breakfast. Unlike some nobles I know. I'm not a noble! Oh, is that so? Maybe you're not, but you aren't exactly one of us commoners either, are you? Uh, what's going on with Robin? Does he have some sort of problem with Sanson? Well, that's not good. <laughs> An alarm? What does that tablet of yours say, Mash? Let me see. It's a Type 3 alert. An abnormality has been spotted, spotted somewhere far away. I'll head for the command room. Uh, uh, can we turn it down? This sounds the last thing I needed, to, needed with this headache. Robin, you need to take care of your hangover before you do anything else. Agreed. Once you do that, I shall take you to see the chef. Alright, what's going on? It's just like, oh, hey, Sam, Sam. Got it. Take care, Mash. Don't push yourself too hard now. Looks like things have finally calmed down. Guess they've got a hand on the situation now. Oh, well. It ain't any of my business. I'm A-OK -okay steering clear of the limelight. All those hot-blooded hero types can handle demon schemes and threats to humanity just fine without me. Uh, the suit really does hit the spot. Santa's like, hmm. <laughs> okay. 
Well, that was weird. It's a weird way to start this, but okay. I'm here. What's the situation? Um, <laughs> you're looking as fluffy as ever, Mesh. That's so cute. Uh, you're looking as fluffy as ever, Mesh. I'm gonna flirt with her. Um, did you say fluffy? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean by that, but thank you, senpai. <laughs> uh, any chance I get to flirt with Mash, I'll take it. In fact, you're looking kind of fluffy yourself, too. Like here, where you still got some bed head. <laughs> Aw, she go, go, go help me, thank you. Okay, you two, it's too early in the morning for flirting. <laughs> oh, God damn it. And the command room isn't the place. <laughs> thank you, DaVinci, for realizing we're flirting. That's better. Now then, here's all the information we've got so far. You can fix your bed head while you listen, Sarah. First of all, we know that the alarm or uh, originated in North America. We're detecting an incredible magical energy signature, but the threat level is fairly low. At least, for now. At the moment, we're sending in a fleet uh, in a fleet, uh, what? In a fleet of investigative drones to collect, that's a thing they have? Investigative drones to collect more intel and communicating with the local authorities. That's a thing? Since when did that happen? When do we have drones for that shit? We're also coordinating with the North American branch of the Mages Association, since Caldea, uh, Caldeus didn't absorb, uh, observe this phenomena. However, there aren't many association agents in North America, so I doubt they'll be of much help. Where exactly in North America is this coming from? <sighs> Good <to> God. <sighs> okay. If you'll direct your attention to the screen, right here, this image was just taken by one of our stationary satellites. United States East Coast, specifically an area north of Boston, uh, Massachusetts. Come to think of it, it's still in the middle of the night over there, isn't it? Even so, it's so dark. I don't see a hint of light anywhere. It looks more like a crater than anything. That's right, it's pitch black, complete and total darkness. We can't detect so much as a hint of artificial light within a perfectly circular 7 kilometer, kilometer radius. This is no blackout or freak weather. Magecraft is the only explanation for something like this. Naturally, since it's covered in such total darkness, we don't have any other visual data. Do we know what's in the middle of this darkness? Any clue at all? As I recall, there was a port town here at this inlet. I think its name was... Salem. <laughs> so fun fact, I've actually been to Salem in real life years ago. Like when I was like, what, 10, I think, maybe? I was pretty young, but I remember going. Pretty cool. It was during the whole like Halloween time too, so they had the whole Halloween decorations out and the whole scary spooky stuff, you know? It is a cursed name, both for the white man, man and for us. Geronimo, Geronino, whatever his name is, I don't care. My presence was requested, and so I have come. Are you sure I can be use of use to Vinci? My tribe knows little of the sea, after all. I'm sure. In fact, you're the perfect warrior for the job. The proud members of your tribe, uh, fuck, uh, have been attuned to that land's voice since ancient times, so we could really use your wisdom right now. I see. So the situation has become so dire that you're making a formal request for my help. Very well. I will be of assistance however I can. What about the people inside the darkness? Are they alright? 
At the moment, we have no way of knowing. So far, the U.S. Army's reconnaissance drones, uh, haven't picked up any sign of the local populace, or even any radio transmissions. Simply put, 50,000 people who just finished their perfectly ordinary day have inexplicably disappeared. I can only imagine what the White House advisors are going through right now in the run-up up, up to the inevitable press conference. I can tell you, Trump don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's terrible. Could this be a demon god pillar? You mean, one of the demon god pillars that escaped when Goita was destroyed? Could be. Probably is. Yes, Sarah. This is most, almost certainly the work of a demon god pillar. That said, the extent to which it seems not to even be making an effort to conceal the insidious nature of this anomaly concerns me. In the other abnormalities we've dealt with over the past several months, like Shinjuku and Agartha, the culprits tried to keep their identities a secret. On top of that, both of those singularities occurred in the past. Hell, in Argarthic's case, it was so thoroughly hidden that it was literally miles under the ground. But that is not the case here. It's taking place right now, and it is so obvious that even the US government knows about it. <laughs> wow, really? That's weird. Neither of the demon god pillars attempted to anything like this, and that is truly worrying. Still, at least the singularity is on a much smaller scale. It reminds me how uh, reminds me of Fuki and how uh, in how it's only covering a single town. Smaller scale, only in comparison with what we have seen so far, you mean? But even now, I can see this tragedy unfolding before my eyes. Pray the dawning sun will chase away the curtain of darkness that has befallen this land. So what will you do now, Da Vinci? And you, my friend? We have to get to Salem right now! Let's take a plane! <laughs> right, Senpai. I'm afraid I disagree. The time is not yet right. What the fuck do you mean? There are people in clear and present danger. 50,000 of them, no less. We do not know for sure that this is not a trap. It is possible that we may end up being glad that only 10, 000, uh, tens of thousands of people lost their lives there. We are still very much in the dark ourselves. All we know for certain is that what Da Vinci said. Never before have we seen such a bold approach as this. It's true. I sense that the demon god laying in wait, lying in wait, um, in this darkness is more cautious and villainous than we have, than any we have yet faced. Da Vinci, have there been any updates in the investigation? Any further details come to light? Yes, there have been a few more updates, but. I wouldn't get your hopes up. When the darkness first appeared, it quickly expanded to its curtain radius in just a few seconds before its progress suddenly stopped. Since then, it's remained completely static, at least from the outside. Mages from the Association have sent in familiars, but we've lost contact with each and every one of them. So they're dead. Okay, cool. Well, the familiars, probably not the mages, but... Land, sea, low-flying air. No matter how much how the familiars attempted to infiltrate the darkness, not a single one of them has reported back. On top of that, the directors of Boston's Holy Church haven't been quiet about this either. Great. Don't get the fucking church involved, God damn it. This unidentified phenomenon pre uh, precludes the use of spiritual 
vocations, sacrifices, and runes. Summoning circles and the anti-fortress and anti-army <clears throat> anti-army noble phantasms in the area surrounding Salem. Okay. These areas include parts of Beverly, Peabody, Danvers, Marblehead, Swampscott, and Lynn. That's a lot of names that I've never heard before, I don't think. We regretly, regretfully report that we have not discovered any evidence of magical involvement, nor can we completely rule it out in regards to this situation. All that means is this phenomenon has taken the church completely by surprise. So it's safe to conclude that none of the persons of interest they've been keeping an eye on uh, have gone near Salem either. You could tell this was a real bitter pill for them to swallow, especially given how proud they are. It's a bit of a surprise for them to throw up their hands in bafflement like this. Yeah, suck it, George. <laughs> Though that's not to say they're at a loss for words, one of them went on to add, Were I to venture to my personal opinion, I might say that it seems as if the very hand of God himself has laid waste to the earth. Really interesting. Can you believe that? Sure doesn't sound like something a man of the cloth should go around saying, if you ask me. Well, it would appear to be a different god than the, the one their faith sees as one, as the one true god. Blah, blah, blah. I've heard rumors about Caldia's staff being stationed around the world for some time now. But I had no idea they were also working at Mages Association branches in the Holy Church. Of course they are. They're, com they're convert agents we've planted on site to blend into their respective areas. The Chaldea Security Organization hasn't just been sitting around twiddling its thumbs waiting for these stray demon gods to reappear, you know. These agents are just a part of our overall effort, though I have to admit that it wasn't easy finding people with no familia, familia or community ties to get to come work for us. Ugh, don't remind me of Roman, god damn it. Okay. Roman always excelled at hiring the right kind of people. He did leave behind a manual detailing his procedures, but it's just not the same. <laughs> don't remind me of Roman. Okay. Yeah, moot. I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Still, it definitely helped. Once I knew where to look, it was just a matter of balancing the budget. I recruited mages, demontology experts, exorcists, and stationed them in cities of interest. And Boston's just so happened to be one of them. The other North American agents should all have be should all be gathered there by now. At this point, we're still just running recon since we're not on site to us. Uh, God damn it, not on site ourselves. The best thing we can do right now is gather as much information as we can and figure out our next move. Uh, so we wait for the news from the people we trust. That's right. At a time, at times like this, there's nothing wrong with depending on others for help. You've really grown, Sarah. Thank you. Trying to handle everything yourself is the height of arrogance and can lead you to terrible mistakes. And in the end, you're left with nothing but grief. I'm relieved to see that self-sacrifice isn't your answer to everything anymore. <laughs> I mean, okay. Still, isn't there anything we can do? Of course. Plenty, in fact. Now that the alert level has been raised, we're getting reports from all over the world. Somebody has to determine if they're authentic, and whether they're related to what's happening in Salem. I'd like you to handle that, Mash. 
Understood. <laughs> now, I think it's about time we pulled a certain great detective out, uh, detective to help us out. His work in the hangar should probably have gotten boring to him by now, so he'll probably be in his room or just wandering around Chaldea. Sarah, would you mind speaking with Holmes yourself? Sure, I'd be love. I'd love to have a little tea. Of course, I doubt you'll have much luck when he barely even pays attention to what Watson has to say. I see. Don't worry, we'll handle that too. I'll drag him here by force if I have to, just like Mr. Hudson. Or Mrs. Hudson, sorry. <laughs> Besides, um, Da Vinci, have you been cooped up here since last night? Ah, uh, you noticed, did you? You're right. I was actually in the middle of testing a certain summon when the alarm sounded. Just between us. The timing couldn't have been worse. Even geniuses like me can make mistakes. For a moment, I was afraid I might truly unwittingly cause a second huge county explosion. <laughs> okay, Dimitri, you need to stop. Let it be bad. Uh... Not funny, Da Vinci. <laughs> Not funny. Well, you can't blame me. Not after Caldea's main power and backup power looked to be like they were about to get knocked out. I see. Another piece of the puzzle in my investigation falls into place. Wait, backup. That sounds really important. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks in advance for all your help, Nash. You too, Geronimo. As for you, Sarah, I want you to be ready for anything, like a good master. I agree, Senpai. Please let us handle this for now. I may no longer be able to fight on the front lines, but in return, I'll do everything I can to support you from back here. When is she going to return to, like, in the story actually being able to fight, though? That's the sort of Kohai I aspire to be. Oh, you're so cute, Mashu. I love you. But when's she actually going to return to the front lines and be able to actually fight? Who the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck? Who the fuck? There's some strange person walking around Calvi and I don't like that. Thanks for waiting, everyone. We're nearly ready to begin this operation now. What's more? This will almost certainly end up being the final ray shift. Well... For this story part. <laughs> the final ray shift. It won't be. <laughs> we got lost belts coming. Which I wonder if the story like does a little introductory thing to it, if you know what I mean. Hey, Holmes. Why is that? Because we, know, uh, we now know that this is the very last demon god pillar. The last singularity to be observed uh, on Earth. Then what are the lots lost belts? Mostly, hmm, nobody tell me. By the way, because I know nothing about next story parts. You know, I don't play JP. I never looked in JP. Well, I have a JP account, but I don't like actively play it. So, we may not have been able to determine where the demon god pillars that escaped from the Temple of Time have had hidden themselves. But we were able to find the distortions in space-time they created wherever they went. Not that we could have done that without Chaldea, uh, without Chaldeus, of course. And it's those readings uh, that are telling us uh, that are telling us this will be the last. The Mages Association, the UN, have joined 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 jointly decided to halt all ship operations following this pseudo-spiriton transfer. Oh, great. After this, barring author author authorization from the new director being appointed in December, we won't be able to race shift anymore no matter what. New director? Who? That's disappointing to hear, but it does make sense. I'll who the fuck's the new director? Only Romani was the true one. Damn it. Well, after what happened to 
Marie, yeah. <laughs> anyway. We shouldn't be ray shifting after humanity has stabilized anyway, since it does involve uh, time travel. Exactly. Which is why the ray shift technology will be sealed away once we've dealt with this final instability. But... Okay, obviously it's not going to because we have whatever the, lo the lost belts are, and I'm assuming they're the same kind of thing. So... It's now been 72 hours since this large-scale disappearance occurred on the east coast of North America, with Salem at its center. Let me start by telling you what we've learned directly from our own investigation and information gathering. First off, we've decided to call that darkness that sprang up out of nowhere to cover all of Salem, the mist. Isn't there a horror movie? What do they call the thing mist or something? Like, I just feel like that's a thing. I don't watch many horror movies, but I feel like that's a thing. Given how it absorbs all visible light and other forms of electromagnetic waves, and it doesn't obey any laws of phys physics, we are certain it's an instance of magecraft. Its scale remains unchanged since it first appeared, as I mentioned earlier a near-perfect circle with a radius of seven kilometers. We also now know that the mist extends upwards to an average altitude of 600 meters. It's easy to enter this area, but so far, nothing has done so uh, has made it back out. Well, now I'm worried for my safety. Every one of the unnamed vehicles, unnamed surveillance units, drones, and closed-circuit robots sent in by the U.S. Army has been swallowed up by the dark. Either that, or they simply ceased functioning the moment they got too close. They've also tried using helicopters. I'm told they're called Apaches, to lower in sensors, but all those ended up being destroyed as well. Great. So, not even a single drone made it back? Damn. Wild. I'm afraid not. You mean each and every one ended up broken and in. 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 pourable? In. parable? In. no parable? I don't know. A number of journalists snuck past the army's blockade and went into the mist themselves, but. they're all dead. <laughs> they're dead. There's no sign that any of them have returned. So yeah, they're all dead. Dumbasses. <laughs> the same is true of the trained animals that were- No, not the animals! That were sent in for reconnaissance. Poor things. Not the- Can we save the animals? Fuck, forget the humans. Can we save the animals? See, the humans are dumbasses. The birds are just- I mean the birds. <laughs> the animals are just doing their goddamn jobs. They need to be saved. Nor have we been able to confirm any birds or other wild animals either coming from or going into the mist. Curses. Then it has become a completely barren wasteland, a barbaric land of darkness that does not suffer even a single watt to pass. We next tried to fight uh, Magecraft with Magecraft by bringing in our own mages. That didn't work out probably, right? They sent in familiars protected by magical barriers, cyber de daemons, auto automata, and more. Unfortunately, despite the local staff's best efforts, those ended in failure too. But, as of last night, we finally received word that a single attempt was successful, returning with valuable new information. Oh really, what is it? Could you not have just led with that and spared us all the extra nonsense? I mean, what do the US Army's troubles really matter to us? Shut up, Anderson. This is why I never use you. <laughs> I don't even have a copy of him, cause fuck him. How dare you! Have you no respect for their sense of duty? My schedule is completely shot thanks to having to write a manuscript on such short notice. Just look at these bags under my eyes. Shut the fuck up. I don't give a fuck. 
Now, now, my friend, I understand how you feel, but let us not make mohills into mountains. Isn't it mountains into mohills? Whatever. <laughs> The important thing is that our work is now done. Our duty has passed like a ship in the night. You there, leave that alone. We need it for dealing with the missed properties and prepare for our future countermeasures. It's especially important that you understand this part, Sarah. Okay, I'm listening. What is it? Or something. Um... You weren't able to contact the inset, inside, even with Magecraft. I don't really care about their manuscripts. Fuck them. So you do understand. The only thing that made it back was a single mechanical doll. Really. It was originally designed to be a clock before a puppet master mage, disguised as a, as a clockmaker, repurposed it. Be a clock before a puppet. Really? Okay. It's made out of oak gears, cast iron nails, and balin. Uh, a robot created without any modern technology whatsoever. Really? Interesting. This medieval robot managed to bring back sketches of what things are like inside the mist by automatically transcribing what it saw with its crystal pupils. That's very interesting, actually. Huh. Why did it survive, though? Take a look at these. Don't get to just see. Oh. Interesting. Ooh, okay. A house. A church. Interesting. I, I like that. That's actually kind of cool. I see. Yes. This is definitely Salem. A peaceful, run of the mill village whose pious residents live their lives. But here's the thing that looks like an old timey village and not. Um. A, you know normal 2019 place <laughs> so I think I said with their lives integrity I think I said that I don't know I got caught up in my own little rant little whatever however this is not a modern day say so yeah see that's what I thought these sketches clearly show how it looked centuries ago yeah I was like that's not quite right right we cross reference them with our own records and found that we they were identical to Salem in the late 17th, 17th century. Basically, the world with, within the darkness is 17th century Salem, as it was in colonial times. I see. That would mean it's still British territory, then. No wonder the U.S. Army was so completely useless. <laughs> Damn. Bro? Be quiet! This cowardly invasion cannot stand! What about the 50,000 people who live there now? Remember, this is not the first time this land has been invaded. Ah, uh, hmm. As we've established, the record, uh, recorded observations are of Salem in the 17th century. The only way that the robot could make such observation is if the past had, has been faithfully recreated, or if some manner of magecraft is displacing the area itself. It's fascinating to ponder, but the effect this could have on humanity is immeasurable. Um, There's almost certainly the work of a demon god pillar still plotting to incinerate humanity. Demon god pillar. That reminds me. Geronimo, earlier when you said that the name Salem is cursed. What did you mean by that? It's all in the past now. It belongs to history. Are you talking about the uh, Salem Witch Trials? <clears throat> Do you mind if I tell this story, Mr. Edison? Please tell about the Salem Witch Trials. The thing's so interesting. By all means. Though we may wish it weren't so. This remains a part of our nation's history. It, God, it's so interesting that people did that. Very well then. The town of Salem and its neighboring lands were home to three tragedies. The first was plague. 
When the white man came to our shores, he brought with him an epidemic that nearly wiped out the Massachusetts tribe living in the Boston Harbor. Yep, that was the thing that happened. The second was war. Albeit, this war was more of a massacre. The Wanapog tribe members that managed to survive the plague put up a valiant fight. Is it Wanapay or Wanapog? I don't know exactly, but... But in the end, their chief's skull still became an ornament for the white man's... I like how they translate, like, white man's, because that's actually how they probably would have said it back then, so... <laughs> white man. Anyway. Never mind that the white man only survived the cruel winter thanks to the resources the Wanapog... Wanapay? Wanapu? I don't know. Left behind. In a stroke of bitter irony, the state would go on to be named after Massachusetts tribe, and these events would be celebrated as a national holiday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, finally, the third tragedy that took place in Salem was the witch trials. Oh, they're so interesting. Okay. Like, I don't know if you guys have actually looked into that shit, but that shit's wild. <laughs> okay. This time, the white man went around killing his own kind, fearing the devil's influence. They hung many innocent people, men and women, by the way, not just women. I trust you now see why I called it a cursed land. And there's so many people that aren't accounted for for the witch trials. Like, there's a lot accounted for, but there's some that are not. There's some aren't. I think there's unmarked graves for that shit, too. Um... They don't really- I don't think they know exactly how many people actually died in the witch trials. I think I saw something about that one time, but I don't- don't count me on that. Anyway. I do. Uh... No, these trials don't have really anything with John. Uh, witch- wait, trials? I thought the term was witch hunt. It's not. Well, it was basically that, though. No, no. He speaks the truth. Twas t witch trials that took place there. That said, these were but a farce of court. Uh, as we know it today, there, were, there they were not but a pretense for the villagers to indulge their worst impulses. These were trials in the name alone, no more than an excuse for the church to exercise its power. The weak and unwanted were stoned to death. Even the densest of fools could see these trials for what they were. Yeah, mass murder. <laughs> By the time matters had progressed for two barbaric witch hunts, the wickedness and corruption had spread so far and taken such deep root that money changed hands un unencumbered by the virtue or concern for justice. Like, imagine... Like, imagine living back then and being like, you're a witch! And you're like, no, I was just making soup! <laughs> or something. I don't know exactly how it all went down, but, you know, it's wild. Fire burned in cauldron bubble. They are merely characters who only ever appeared in works of fiction. Yeah, see, like, it's very different from, you know, the way we think of witches. These were people that they just thought were, like, downright evil, like, being possessed by Satan because they did some weird shit. And they're like, you're weird, you're a witch, we're gonna hang you. I may have, have, uh, I may have made use of them in my own stories, but I have never once encountered the genuine article yet, because they don't fucking exist. <laughs> they don't exist, Medea. <laughs> Furthermore, Those who claim these fictional beings are real in order to serve their own selfish ends are simply a denial of that delusion. In my own time as well, people sense the truth through skin and scent. Even if they did rarely put pen to paper to express what they truly thought. That there is indeed a collective unconscious that fears witches and their curses. Now that some time has passed since then, I wonder what things are like in the modern day. I believe that it is less relevant than one might think. 
I have no interest in determining where in history late 17th century Salem should fall. Nevertheless, it is abundantly clear that piety was not the only thing the Puritans brought to the New World. Those who loathe sin, who judge sinners by their own hands, are inevitably the sort who wish to engage in sin themselves. Such people will always exist, no matter the day and age. It is a fundamental aspect of the criminal mind. He's not wrong. So, what, then, is a witch? A criminal? A victim? The answer to that question has changed as people's beliefs have shifted over time. As one who understands the mysterious and the mystic, and rejects the guidance of an unknowable god, I would say the witch trials were exactly what their name suggest, a lawful process used to pass judgment on so-called witches. An attempt to manage the frenzied panic of a witch hunt in a stylish, civilized manner. Civilized? Are you sure about that? <laughs> of course, offering madness a seat at the dinner table after it comes barging in unannounced does nothing to change its inherent nature. Thus, the persecution of witches continued and unbated the West uh, it, until it, accu it accumulated in its final chapter in the New World. Ironically, in Salem, a land steeped in pious faith. Pi pious? I think that's the word. It was there where the devil truly ran free, where reason and desire, scientific uh, spirit, and occult mindsets came together. Enough! Put the violin away. What possible what uh what possible use could it be here? If you want to hear yourself talk, then go to your room where you won't bother anyone. God, shut the fuck up. Oh, was that a bit long winded? And here I thought I was being considerate by drawing the listener in with a generous amounts of exposition. Actually I was very interested in that and An Anderson interrupted. Fuck you, Anderson. Ahem. I think that's enough of witch trial talk for her. No, I want to talk more about it because it's so interesting. For my part, over the last few days, I've been investigating whether there might have been any changes in past events. I've been checking the repaired foundations over and over for signs of instability. I haven't overlooked anything, and yet. Something is still going on. There's something about this singularity that's unlike any we've seen so far. Some small distortion that threatens the very rules of our world. The data is indeed accurate, and this case is undeniably clear for all, for all to see. Which would mean the culprit is closer to a god than a human, a demon god, to be precise. It is certainly no surprise that a demon god pillar would act veiled in secrecy, but even mysterious acts like this are bound to incontrovertible rules. However, these rules cannot be tested from the outside. To do so, one must venture inwards to get, as they say, up close and personal. I like his little eyebrow raised sprite, it's just funny. I don't know why I find it funny, but I do. Holmes is right. If we can't get information that makes sense from the outside, then we we have to investigate from the inside. Master Sa Sarah, of as Kelly is acting director, I am formally requesting that you be the one to enter the mist. Yeah, I've been waiting for that. It's like I'm the only one who can. Well, I mean, y'all can too, but probably. I want you to investigate whatever is inside. Rescue as many people as you can. Find the demon god pillar and destroy it. You know, fuck the people. I just want to save the animals. Yes, ma'am. I know how I'm going to do it. You know, it's whatever. Well, I actually don't, but... You're up, Mash. R right. The mistbounded field. We've conducted a number of tests in our analysis of one of 
of the one automata that successfully returned and learned that they missed uh, in eliminated anything made with post sedentary post 17th century uh, technology okay interesting oh that does make a lot of sense okay that's why the cutting edge drones that were sent in ceased to function but why did the animals disappear then huh What's inside the mist? Well, as the acting commander said earlier, there do there do appear to be humans inside. What's more, we believe they are leading normal lives despite their confinement. Maybe they don't even notice it. Think about that. Normal lives. And the people who live there are all right. But wait a moment. Wouldn't they be panicked out of their minds? I know I would! I'm afraid I... Unfortunately, we just don't know whether those people are safe. We haven't gathered enough information yet. As you saw from the sketches, the area inside the mist has changed completely. It appears to be recreating Salem, and the way its people lived their lives in the late 17th century. Maybe it affected their minds too, thinking to take them back to that time period. Probably. Makes sense. Whatever the reason for that may be, that's where we need to begin. Um. I'm impressed you figured that out so quickly. This was information we got from the near future observation lens, Sheba. Incredibly detailed information, too. Especially given that it was observing something in present day space time. Usually, Sheba isn't much help at all, so the whole staff was puzzled by why we were able to use it here. I'm sure there's a good explanation for it, but since we don't have the time to figure it out right now, I'm just going to chalk it up to an unexpected stroke of good luck. Indeed. Truly, this is an act of providence. God has clearly see seen fit to bless us in this dire time. Now, we should hurry and find a way through that field, whatever it takes. I agree, which is why Holmes and I put our heads together and came up with a possible strategy. A race shift that results in the same era. This way, we can send you straight to the heart of Salem without moving you across time. I guess that makes sense, yeah. However, there are two major conditions involved with this plan that I need you to understand, Sarah. Oh boy, what is it? As I explained earlier, we get one round uh, a get one round trip ray shift. Period. What's more, the number of people we can shift is severely limited. Great. The associ association has already forced us to shut down the reactor in Caldia's basement. What? God, they're really going down our throats. So we'll only have enough remaining magical energy for one last large-scale round trip. But there are exceptions to every rule, eh? <laughs> Just goes to show you can't cross a bridge until you come to it. Please don't come with us. Go back to your room. We're not operating independently anymore. We can't afford to be optimistic or even pessimistic. Pessimistic. Blah. As for the second condition, oh boy, what is it? I'm scared. Okay, you'll need to dress for the occasion so that you don't stand out in late 17th century Salem. Yay, I get to wear a dress, I hope. Think of it as officially s sanctioned cosplay. <laughs> it may sound silly. But we believe it'll be essential, essential to letting you move around Salem, uh, unpeed, unpeed. Why is there no mystic code for this? Sounds great to me. I'll go first then. You can't. Why not? Bill, tell them. Indeed. Once we learned all this, Lady Da Vinci asked us to come up with a scenario for infiltrating the area. I nearly fainted when I first thought uh, she was asking me to sneak in, 
So you can imagine my relief to know this is not the case. You do know you don't have to share every thought that comes to your, into that swollen head of yours, do, do, don't you? God, I really hate you right now. You're really getting on my nerves, and I don't know why, but shut up. Uh, after all, we servants are but a band of fools and eccentrics. As such, we are well suited to being actors. Thus, in this scenario, you will visit Salem as a part of a traveling group of performers. Okay, so that's what the uh, in uh, the video is like. In the video for this part, the little animated one, they're like, uh, okay, I get it. Traveling group of performers, a trope, a uh, troop, if you will, whatever it's called. Troop, troop, I think. <laughs> what a joke! The great William Shakespeare reduced to writing a script for a glorified circus act. I knew, even before you put quill to paper, that taking into account the inexperienced, act inexperienced actors and the uptight audience, there was no way the script would be suitable. <laughs> now, now, Anderson. There is nothing more delightful in a story than a surprise and well-conceived twist. Blech. In this case, we hardly need to world-class talent. Of course, they will need to be able to perform in some fashion, or the whole pl uh, ploy will be for naught. But a troupe is by definition a place where those who are otherwise unable to earn a living drift together, which makes it perfect for camouflage. Wait, hold up. You mean we're going to be performing? We're, whatever. Is there a problem with that? I think it's pretty clever, a clever idea myself. As for which servants will actually be joining this troop, I decided to choose them myself, taking Bill's opinion into account, of course. Let me tell you, it was a terrible headache coming up with, this, with a scenario that fits these rank amateurs. Still, that's not to say it wasn't fulfilling. Go ahead and knock yourselves out with the man this manuscript. Just make sure you pay full, uh, pay in full and up front. Shut up. So then, neither Shakespeare or Anderson will be joining this mission. Thank God. <laughs> what about you, Geronimo? I'm sure Senpai would be greatly relieved to have you along. I'm sorry, Mash, but I can't do that. I wasn't cast in this operation either. Well, then who was? No doubt they thought my inclusion would lead to unforeseen difficulties, even as a member of the troop, of a troop. I would like nothing more than to help, but if not, but not if it means putting my friend in danger. Oh, I, I see. On the flip side of that, what's gotten into you, Medea? You loaded this idea from the moment you heard it. You said you refused to you refused even if we used a command spell. Does the fact that you've been standing around without a making a peep mean you still haven't made a decision? <laughs> well, I guess I'm still thinking about it. Y you want to send Medea to Salem? Are you serious? Even if she is just going to pretend to be a troop member, that's far too dangerous! After all, Medea really is a... Witch. Exactly! Regardless of Medea's extenuating circumstances, sending a real witch to a famous place for witch hunts is the height of folly! Ugh, boring, dull, dim with it. I should have expected no better response from a line. Shut the fuck up. Quite. There is not a hint of humor or adventure to be found in it. Indeed, I couldn't have said it better myself. Ha! Go ahead and laugh if you want. I'm used to being ridiculed by, sel uh, by selfish so-called geniuses. But this is neither the time nor place to be discussing human, uh, humor, <laughs> human, or fash, uh, fashion, or patents. 
There are American citizens who have been swallowed up by this darkness. The very lives are at stake. If you want to be funny, then save it for the movies. <laughs> okay, dude. I understand you're very patriotic, Edison. But I'm afraid things aren't just that simple. God, this has gone on for so long. This may be the modern day, but we're dealing with a world from the past and a town of witch hunts where external support, external support, isn't an option. Just isn't an option, whatever. Common sense alone won't get us through this. We need a specialist expertise. That's why we're counting on Medea to serve in an adversary role. If a demon god is behind all this, then it's going to be ex an extremely difficult mission. And there's no one better suited to find the line between superstition and magecraft than her. Of course, we really didn't expect this request to upset her like this, like it has. But if she changed her mind after sleeping on it, then all's well that ends well. Okay. But... Settle down. There's no problem here. Huh? No, wait. Uh, let me try that again. <laughs> There's no need to make a fuss over things that haven't come to pass, Mash. I swear by head to Kate that I won't let any harm befall Master. What's this? Are you feeling a bit off today or something? I was just in a bad mood last night. Anyway, it's up to Master to make the final call. Am I wrong, little writer? I'm getting chills. There's something seriously wrong with her. What about you, Mash? Are you coming along too? I... I, I can't. I was never part of the cast to begin with, so... Poor Mash. Anyway, now that you're all caught up, I'm going to go ahead and begin the ray shift preparations finally. In the meantime, Sarah, I want you to brief everyone we chose to accompany you. Remember, we don't have a lot of time before you need to leave. I especially want you to keep that in mind, uh, that this is our one and only chance to ray shift. Gotcha. Thanks. I understand. What's going? Where am I going? Oh, mash. Okay. What's wrong? Oh. Um, what are you reading there? Uh, oh, this? It's the file for this mission. Did you already finish your briefing? Me? Don't worry, I'm fine. No, you're not. I've been working pretty hard these last few days, but I'm feeling better now that I've had a bit of a break. Compared to what you and everyone else who is about to head to Salem must be going through. I'm sorry, you're right. Looking back now, I have been a bit discouraged. Kohai needs head pats. It goes without saying at this point, but I'm not a combatant anymore. You will- you- don't say that, god. I'm Da Vinci's assistant, and a summoning circle engineer. Having an ordinary Caldia staff member like myself go somewhere like Salem- You're no ordinary Caldia staff member, Mash, god damn it. Would only put me and everyone else in danger. I just wish there was some way I could be useful. 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 That's it! Mash? I'm sorry, Senpai. I just remembered something urgent I have to do. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare right away. See you later. Okay, bye. Now that was some impressive Kohai power. <laughs> that was weird. But K. God, it's still going. Okay, it looks like everyone's all set. We were sending a party of six into Salem, including Sarah. Once again, do not let your guard down after making your way past the battlefield. 
make sure not to say or do anything that would give away the fact that you're not originally, that you aren't originally from the 17th century. So don't say, hey, you got an iPhone? <laughs> Alright, initiating ray shift sequence. Please take me with please take me with you to Salem! Yay! Taking that you <sighs> Well now, that's a pretty last minute request. But I'm afraid we've already filled the roles that we need. There aren't any other Yes there is! I've heard that troops like these have a prompter who works behind the scenes to feed the performers their lines. In that case, I believe Senpai will need a dependable Kohai to be her secretary. Aww. Don't worry about the scripts. I've already learned them all by heart. Damn. Wild. I dare say you won't find a better prompter than me on such short notice anywhere. So once again, I request you accompany the rest of the troop. Of course, I'm certain I can be as useful uh, as an on-site county of staff member as well. I second that request. You memorized our entire script. Well, well. I'm impressed. I certainly can't argue with that. What do you think, Mr. Showbiz? Does your script need a bit of support? My script is nothing less than perfection itself. However, an even perfect script means little without actors to bring it to life. A prompter to feed the performers on stage their lines, you say? Hmm. Such a role could be very... be crucial to ensuring the success of a performance put on by an amateur cast. Above all, I cannot help but commend her for her memorizing the entire script. As such, I am more than happy to support Mash's request. Besides, if a troupe cannot perform convincingly, they are certain to come under suspicion. To be honest, I think this would be great help. <sighs> what do you think, Geronimo? I'm afraid I can't concur. Having a young girl accompany a troop of performers is a bound to invite to misunderstandings. Oh, shut up. It would be dangerous, even without the threat of combat. But I will say that Mash seems to have taken all of that into consideration. In which case, I believe this is Master's decision to make. <laughs> um, what if we say she's my, uh, I mean, the troop's little sister? Little. If anything, I believe Mash would be more convincing as your older sister. Eh, I don't know about that. I warn you now, Sarah. Such a pretense would only invite further suspicion. Me? Playing like Senpai's older sister? <sighs> I was just thinking, like, mash me, like, call me Onesima. <laughs> anyway, I think that's what it is for, or, or Onesan, whatever, for older sister, I think. Uh, <sighs> I can see you're set on this, and the other party members don't appear to have any objections. If Sarah's okay with it, then I have no real uh, basis to refuse Mash's request. But let me give you this warning. Integrity won't keep you safe in a world of abnormalities. Sometimes, you need to be straight up, uh, straight up sophist? What the fuck's that? Or look the other way. What the fuck is a sophist? Never heard of that word in my life. At times like that, you'll need to weigh your, or weigh your own principles against the mission's success. Understood. I'll keep that in mind. I'm counting on you, Sarah. Good luck. To Salem, let's go find Jesus. All right then. In that case, I hereby issue the Remnant Order Final Command. Master Sarah will arrive at Salem Singularity at the current time. Make sure you use full. Uh, you make sure you make full use of your uh, experience to date, and see to it that you come back safely from this ex especially exceptional mission. Finally, it took forever to get to where we are. Jesus. Can we end this now? Oh my god, it's still going. I need a drink of water. I've been talking for an hour. Jesus. Excellent. 
Everything looks good with the ray shift. Okay, let's get back to our monitoring duties. All servants, remain on standby until further notice. Ah, it's still going. Do you think it was a good idea to let her go along? I knew that Mash would want to go. You were the one who was most against it, eventually. I have nearly been accused of being a witch myself. Oh, not the broom flying and wand wielding people cursing sense, so much as being thought as a heretic. Somebody claimed that the autopsies I did for research were evil rituals. Sorry to say back then, I didn't handle it very bravely. Instead of standing up for what I believed in, I found myself at a loss for words. I turned my back on the truth and had to lie about who I really was. Over time, that kind of pressure starts to eat away at you. It's like poison more than anything else. I just thought that Mash was a little young to go through that kind of torture. Don't be silly. Those two have already seen nearly every side of humanity by now. The ugliness of the witch trial should put a nice bow on the whole thing. Besides, the very notion of sending a troop of performers into a Puritan village was utter lunacy from its genesis. Indeed! Fighting fire with fire, as they say! <laughs> oh, hello? Huh? Wait. Wait. Uh-oh. Where are Sarah and the others? Did they already leave? Uh-oh. Huh? What are you still doing? This is no... Huh? What's going on? Is there a problem with the ray shift? Oh, ho. We seem to have gotten our twist rather early in the story. How delightful. So, whoever was walking around in the black, black, darkened, whatever sprite was... Ooh. Oh, is this delightful? This is terrible! Is there no way we can contact them? <sighs> I've been knocked out this whole time! Oh my god, who the fuck was it? That wasn't me who went along! That was someone pretending to be me! Using magic as a disguise, was it a friend or foe? So we're dealing with someone capable of outwitting a witch. This is bad. So was there a friend or foe, though? That's what I want to know. If you're here, then, who's the Medea who went to Salem? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um. Big yikes. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good. It, but, it's, but it could be good. It could be a friend. But I don't know about that, you know? <laughs> it's like, uh oh, SpaghettiO! Oh boy. God, that was a long- well, That's very dark. Um... That's very, very dark. Well, next time we're gonna take on the Quiet Forest weekend. Uh, I hate that. It's gonna be so stupid. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this part. It was pretty long, or at least it felt really long. Um, <laughs> it was a lot of talking. My voice is like dying. We have to go get a drink of something, water, before I continue on. So, hope you guys enjoyed this part, and I'll see you guys in whatever Let's Play, whatever video I do next is, okay? Bye!